This video is on JSON injection. We talked about JSON file before. The file is simply a string that is used to store and transmit data between a server and a client. It is widely used in web application, which is why it's a target for malicious activities. JSON injection is where attacker injects malicious data into JSON streams or uses malicious JSON streams to modify behaviors. It can happen on both the server side as well as the client side. Server-side happens when data from untrusted source is not sanitized and is written onto the JSON stream, while the client side occurs when the data from untrusted source is not sanitized and is parsed directly using JavaScript eval function. This can cause privilege escalation and may ultimately lead to a full system compromise. The best way to prevent injection is to sanitize user inputs and avoid using the eval function. A simple example of server-side JSON injection is where attacker sends an application backend and extra data. For example, using account type regular user as well as account type privileged user in a single string would trick the server into accepting the last account type instead of the first, resulting in the user having higher privilege than what it is allowed to have without proper authentication. First, we have the regular JSON string seen below. Then we have the data that was appended by malicious attackers and sent back to the backend without sanitization. And this is what gets stored by the backend, which gives the attacker admin privilege. Simple client side can be performed when the client gets JSON and parses the JSON strings using eval function. Eval function basically executes functions that's in the string without sanitization, like the alert call seen below. This malicious string will result in cross-site scripting attack. There is multiple ways to sanitize data and for the client side, simply prevent the use of eval to avoid these attacks.